and it's named um, uh, smart agriculture using concepts of iod and image processing so um so beginning uh, we all know as uh, india is like largely dependent on agriculture right we have like more than 50% of our population that is dependent on agriculture so uh, do i really need this okay so we have more than 50% of our uh, population that is dependent on agriculture and hence it uh, actually drives our economy right and we know for a fact that there is not been lot of advancement in the field of agriculture and hence we make a small attempt to uh, include iot and image processing in the field of agriculture and making uh, uh, the lives of uh, the present farmers better than what it is today by early detection of any disease in the plant and early in, uh, intimation to the farmers about this so uh, we since i told we use two main concepts that is internet of things and image processing so i am pretty sure all of us are very familiar with internet of things because it's like the present thing that is happening so uh, briefly internet of things is uh, the network of physical objects that may be devices vehicles buildings and other items embedded with electronic sensor software and network connectivity that enables it to collect and exchange data so basically it's a network of networks so it is working in collaboration with a lot of other networks so it, because of this it's very efficient and uh, uh, it gives us accurate results so uh, uh, then we go to image processing so image processing is processing of an image using mathematical operations by using uh, any form of signal processing um, for this your input may be an image or a series of image let's say a video and your output may also be an image or character set of characteristics or parameters uh, related to that image so uh, i mainly concentrate on digital image processing here because what i feed into the system that we have done is digital images of the plants and um, so uh, it has got wide uh, applications in uh, uh, pattern recognition uh, feature extraction and etc so the objective of our project is to reduce crop failure using iot and cloud computing uh, and increase farmer scientist interface so um, we have not yet concentrated on the cloud computing part of it we are still uh, uh, trying to achieve the internet uh, of things part of the project right so um, so basically what we do here we uh, uh sense the plant we uh, take in environmental conditions we take images of the plant and then we compare it with a pre defined database so a plant uh, so the plant that we have chosen is called philodendron uh, it's a ornamental show plant for uh, just testing purpose uh, let's say other uh, thing is this plant shows us quick results so that is why we had chosen this plant all right so we notice that the plant shows different uh, sort of morphological changes in its leaves Uh, when it is subjected to different conditions so um this is a, set, a system that we have set up so first we have the iot sensing network which has lot of sensors such as the dht11 uh, temperature and humidity sensor we have the soil moisture sensor uh, and also a, a, a serial jpeg camera that is attached to it so we have named the image processing network as separate with the uh, camera because this uh, takes the images at regular intervals automatically uh, converts uh, uh, converts the image to a monotone and then gives us a histogram so histogram is nothing but a, a graphical representation of your image okay so um, then uh, so all this is fed to a sd card so we store all this data in a sd card and it will already have your pre defined database for the different parameters such as these so uh, we notice that uh, as i said there are like different morphological changes shown by the plant for different conditions right so all this is put in the sd card and then the test image that is got from the image processing network is tested and run against these pre defined images and then we come to know whether the uh, test image the plant is healthy or not healthy and if it is not healthy why is it not healthy so um this is the morphological histogram analysis that we did so um this is the healthy image that we have so this is basically the predefined database or right that is already fed into the sd card so uh this is the healthy image and we noticed that we have lot of pixels so our y axis shows the number of pixels and this is the intensity so we see that more number of pixels are in the range from 50 to 75 so there is no much variation Uh, so this is 
this defines our healthy image okay so then comes the dry image so in the dry image we notice that there are some dark regions in the leaves so that is why the leaves are shown like this and as you can see there are like pixels between 0 to 50 there are small uh, few number of pixels but it is present right so that is our dry histogram and then coming to excess heat so what we did was we uh, so this plant is a indoor plant so we kept it outside in the sun so the hence it got uh, subjected to excess heat so because of this uh, in the lattice of the leaf there was like a dark region dark spot that was shown and the rest of the leaf was palely green so that is why uh, we see that there are a lot of pixels that are present after 225 and there are like there's a specific this is the region that is shown in this part so there's a clear peak showing our dark region here and then coming to npk excess npk is a fertilizer that is used for uh, this uh, plant so uh, the npk so we did not have time to exactly see what would happen if you do not put npk so what we did is we did the opposite of it we gave it excess npk and that is why it started showing dark spots so this dark spot is clearly shown and visible here right so um so this was like the predefined database because we checked for four conditions so the test image so this is the first test image that we got we took and um so these the temperature and the humidity and the soil moisture is taken from the iot sensing networks network that is taking the environmental condition right so uh then when you see the histogram of the image that is got by the image processing network we see that there are uh, so this very um, so there is very less variation right it's very similar to our excess uh, sorry the healthy image correct because uh, as you can see there are like no pixels here so there is no dark region most of the region, uh, pixels are lying here so that is how we come to know that it is a healthy specimen then comes the next test image that we took and this image you can clearly see that there are dark spots plus there is lot of pixels in the very light region here so this shows that it is excess heat comparing to this so this is how we deduce if it is not healthy why is it not healthy based on the histogram so your um, so this basically gives us a confirmation of our histogram analysis so that is what this part of it does so uh, concluding so this is what we have achieved till now so concluding what i can say is we have achieved automation on a very small level that is capturing of the test images on uh, automatically so we can probably if you work further we can probably put this on a rover or a drone and uh, take automatic pictures and also take automatic uh, remedial measures to the different defects if present and uh, so if you see the minerals in the soil is different on different regions correct so your some plants will be suitable for one region and some plants may not be suitable for one region so this also can be studied and processed and uh, respective measures can be taken to add the minerals if we have to grow the plant in that region so uh, if so our idea is that if we include cloud computing so at present in india there is no such agricultural database in the cloud right absolutely no database on the cloud so if you have information like this on the cloud you can probably predict a lot of stuff you can predict graphs you can tell intimate the uh, uh, farmers as to uh, what exactly he is supposed to do so the complete automation is what we dream of we do not know how much we will reach there but hopefully so so thank you, thank you.